Hello, welcome to the Jerome B Farm. It's October 30th, 2017, and it's getting cold in Oklahoma. We had one freeze so far this year. It got down to 27, 28 degrees last Friday night, and everything's turning brown. It's kind of depressing. So uh, it's time to stop feeding uh, liquid sugar water unless we get some really nice days and we can uh, do some open feeding out there out of five gallon uh, feeders but uh, the individual feeding inside the hives that's gonna stop so I'm gonna pull off all the uh, the feeders from out there and uh, I've got a five gallon bucket feeder here basically there's a bunch of holes drilled on the inside you fill this up with sugar water turn it outside and the bees can go in here and feed out of each of these little little holes right there so uh, that's one thing I do when I do uh, open feeding but today it's time to put the honey supers up and uh, save store the comb and put them on moth crystals so uh, in order to uh, put up honey a lot faster in the spring you want to save your comb after you harvest so this is honeycomb that's come out of the super this was full of honey and it's been harvested so what we've done we cut all the caps off and spun it in the spinner got the honey out and then we set it out for the bees to clean it up once they're done with it I bring it in and I put on crystals and I'm going to show you how I do that so uh, I'll show you what the chemical is. This is available from Man Lake. It's called Paramoth. And I was able to find the equivalent stuff on uh, Amazon for uh, quite a lot, quite a bit less. So this is 15 bucks for one pound. And I got three pounds for $25 on Amazon. But if you do that, you need to be sure you get the P dichlorobenzene or para dichlorobenzene or 1 comma 1 dash 4 para dichlorobenzene so I'm a chemical engineer so don't question me on that just kidding I'm not a chemical engineer but I did have chemistry in high school for Mr. Elliot and he would be proud that I know that uh, para means 4 so that's the para dichlorobenzene anyway Here's the uh, Amazon brand Enos. So if you look down here, active ingredients, it says P dichlorobenzene. Same stuff, a lot cheaper. And I get it two days with my Amazon Prime. So with that, I'm going to uh, show you how I set these up and uh, get going. Okay, I got all my super stacked up here each one of these has nine nine frames in there and I got one set up there with three so what I'm gonna do is every time I stack three I'm gonna put the chemical and I'll show you how I do that okay so basically this chemical is heavier than air so is it uh, it's a solid and it goes from solid straight to gas that's called sublimation and I do remember that from uh, ninth grade science as a matter of fact same same teacher mr. Elliot uh, so what I do I put on a plastic excluder and I put a paper towel just to keep the chemical there So one thing that's a little different from this chemical from the stuff you get from Man Lake, this is more of a granule, like like rock salt, and the Man Lake is more of a powdery kind of like granule salt. Shouldn't make any difference. So there. So this is going to be for these three boxes right here. So now I'm going to put three more boxes on top of that, and I'll do it again and again. This is sitting on a piece of cardboard, 
So if there's any imperfections in the cement down here, it'll uh, stop the uh, any fumes from getting out. And I'm going to duct tape every one of these joints so no fumes can get out. I don't know if you can see the cardboard there. Yeah, see there? I got it sitting on cardboard. Kind of acts like a fume gasket. So go ahead and put the other three on. And I've noticed just from these sitting in here, they've been in here about a week without anything on them and actually I did have a little bit of the Paramoth from Man Lake on the very top and underneath the cover there are already wax moth larvae I found in there that were outside of the fumes so that's how fast those things get started So here's the paramoth that I had so you can see the difference in the granules see it's a little bit finer granule but there are some clumps that uh, anyway I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the middle you can see a little moth or moth that came in hatched out and died from that chemical Since there's not much there, I'm going to put a few more of the crystals down there. So if you're worried about chemical uh, getting in the comb and in the honey, this stuff is approved to put onto honey supers. The thing is, when you're done, uh, when you use them in the spring, you don't put them right on the, the hive. You get this off of there and uh, you let it, the vapors get out of it. So it doesn't leave any residual chemical on the comb. This next one's going to have four instead of three. just as easily make two stacks but get it done There you can see how it's all stacked on there. There you can see the frames. Okay, the next step is to seal it from the top so the fumes don't come out into the room here. Because you can sure smell them. So I use a trash bag, just lay it over the top. moth larva see that little sucker right there already hatched out this was on the non-chemical side of this plastic where I had it before and it's been there about a week week and a half and they're already hatching out up in there after that wax
But on the bottom side, there were no larvae or anything down in here. It was uh, clean, just up here. I'll show you how they got under there. I had a cover on this. A man can never have too many bungees. I used to race dirt bikes. I still got tons of these everywhere. You would use them to hold your gear down on the back of the truck so it didn't fall out on the road. So that's part of your top seal. <coughs> so now I'm going to put a spacer on there so the lid is not pressing down right on that chemical right there. All that is is like an inch and a half spacer. And then I have a telescoping cover. I'm going to put on top of that. Put weight on top of this and hold that plastic down against uh, against the top of the frame so no fumes can get out. And that's it. So now it's time to do the duct tape. So that's a real sticky part of the job. I did it again. I always try to turn the corner with that duct tape because what I've noticed is through winter it will kind of come unsticked in some places. Unsticked? It will come undone. Did I mention that my uh, high school chemistry class was, uh, it was really tough and uh, I didn't make a very good grade but uh, anyway when I got to college I was so scared of taking chemistry because it was so hard in high school but when I took it in, in uh, college it was like easy because I'd had all that stuff before so uh man that mr elliot he was he was one hell of a chemistry teacher i'll tell you that i still remember avogadro's number i think i do 6.024 times 10 to the minus 22nd has something to do with how many grams in a mole or something like that Nowadays, most of my mole stuff is uh, catching them and killing them. I know this is exciting stuff. You're on the edge of your seats. just now figured out to move it out so I could walk around it. Probably the same reason I didn't get a good grade in chemistry. This is the one I've been looking for because it's the last one. Bam!
that on there for a little bit of weight. And that's how you store your honey supers. So they'll be good to go next spring. Another important reason you do this is I've heard this and I've read it that it takes just as much nectar from bees to make honeycomb as it does honey. So if you let this, if you uh, melted this comb down and didn't reuse it and you put in fresh brand new frames with no honeycomb on them, they'd have to draw that out. And it would take them twice as much nectar to draw out new comb uh, than to use this used comb. And you can use this three or four years until it starts turning dark, you know, then I'm going to go ahead and take it out. But, uh, you know, in the meantime, it's, it's good to go. It's good, good to next year, and uh, that'll give the bees a uh, chance to make twice as much honey. So, and that's a good thing. So, if you have any questions, uh, put them down below. Uh, if you like my channel, like and subscribe if you would, and uh, hit the little bell so you get notification when I make a new video, and I'll be seeing you on the next one. Thanks.